This is how you remove the cheek pads from the Turatec Aventuro Carbon Helmet. The Aventuro Carbon Helmet is equipped with an emergency cheek pad removal system. You don't want to use this to remove the cheek pads because it can damage the helmet when they're pulled out in an emergency. So I'll show you how to pull the cheek pads out the correct way. To make this a little easier to see, I'm going to remove the chin spoiler and just set it aside. You need to reach into the helmet and feel at the top of the cheek pads and just pull away from the shell of the helmet. There are three pins that you have to pop out, one at the top, one at the front, and one at the back of the cheek pad. And once you've popped all three of those out, then you can just pull the cheek pad free from the liner. And you see these three pins in the cheek pad? These guys, if you pull them out the way I just did, they'll stay in the cheek pad, but if you pull down on the cheek pad, they'll come out like this, and then they'll be stuck in the helmet. You actually have to fish them and pull them out of the helmet. But if you pop the cheek pad out the way I showed you, it's no problem. So that's one cheek pad out. I can do the same on the other side, starting at the top. There's one. Now the front. There's the other. Now to the back. There's the third one. And then you can just pull the liner out. Just like that. You see I got all three pins still in there. The pins actually engage into these three holes. I hope you can see those. And once you've got the cheek pad out, you can actually remove this foam pad. This is the speaker hole for mounting an intercom system into the helmet. To put the cheek pads back in, make sure that you put the chin strap through the hole in the cheek pad. Put the lining edge back in just loosely and then line up the three pins with the holes that they go into and just push them straight in. Process is a little tough the first time, but once you learn where all the pins are. So the three pins are in. Then you can line up the edge of the cheek pad. And that one's back in the helmet. The installation is exactly the same on the other side, so just line the cheek pad up and pop all three of the pins into place.